Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the module four. Uh, so uh, your project is well underway. I saw a lot of uh, pretty good um, interaction between you and the advisor and client through that uh, feedback form. That's pretty good. The still couple project has not done that, but so please do that as soon as, pos as possible so we know uh, your progress. Uh, this week, other than of course push hard for your capstone, I would like you to uh, look at uh, the interview process. Since you're about to finish your degree, uh, many of you uh, will start looking for new job or a job or maybe a promotion. Um, I know you are so worried about your capstone that you might not want to do a, anything about the job search. But it is important, and uh, in this capstone class, since this is probably the last class we have a, our hand on your neck, um, so we are going to ask you to start preparing for a career search and uh, your interview. Uh, the assignment is pretty straightforward. I want you to review some uh, job search website, which is doesn't take a long time, but I really encourage you, don't overlook them. Go through them carefully, think about what you're going to do in your job search and your career, reflect in your learning journal, and um, and there is a uh, extra credit opportunity if you want to try it. In the link, you will see the top 10 most asked interview questions, and they actually give you some best answers. Uh, those are very cliche, but I can tell you that those questions always came up. I'm doing a little consulting work for a small college in LA this today. Uh, that's why I put in the tie. And I'm helping them to interview a couple of uh, faculty members. And even for faculty members, uh, these set of questions come up all the time. So they are cliche, they are corny, but they always come up. So often it's not what you answer, because people kind of have the standard answer to these questions, but how you answer. So if a interviewee couldn't answer these very common question, and from my from my perspective as an interviewer, I would say that this this person is not serious. He's not prepared. So I'll give you a challenge. Uh, see if you can do that video interview. Answer the ten questions through a video. It doesn't have to be really kind of well produced. But this is a good opportunity for me to give you some feedback and good opportunity for you to uh, practice that uh, phone interview. Because nowadays, like you probably know, most of the interview have multiple stage. The first one is a probably Skype or Zoom interview. So you, you should get used to uh, setting the environment and uh, answer those questions through media. So well, good luck on the, uh, on the module. Uh, keep it up, and most of you are doing well. Uh, I'm happy that a couple of you, uh, a couple of you are behind keep us posted. Okay, good luck. And uh, this Saturday, I'm going to see some of you on campus. Uh, I'm very excited to looking forward to that. Bye bye now.